Now the sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops. And it's gonna be a beautiful day, that's plain to see. Welcome to Bill Dance Outdoors, America's most popular and longest running TV fishing show. Now I'm going fishing with Bill Dance today. Hello everybody. I'd like to devote today's show to a subject I've believed in since I was old enough to tie on a fishing lure. And that subject is the importance of fish vision and color perception. Now I'll be the first to admit, there's a lot about the anatomy of a fish I don't fully understand. But what I have learned is that a fish uses sight almost 100% in their selection of food. It's true. They are for sure greatly influenced by sound, smell, texture, and taste. But sight is their dominant sense by far. So as we fish along, we're gonna be discussing a lot of that today. So pop aboard and let's go fishing. Today is early spring and I'm doing something I really enjoy. And that's fishing pre-spawn bass. This is the time of the year when shallow bodies of water begin to warm drawing these great game fish to the shallows. Now this initial move is not a spawning movement. The spawn usually occurs a little later, at least a few weeks after their shallow migration, naturally depending on weather. These early spring cold water movements are associated mostly with something to eat. Bass follow the forage, which in this case is threadfin shad. Here also the bass will feed heavily so they can build up additional energy for the upcoming spawn. And during this pre-spawn period, they're fairly easy to catch once located and provided you offer them something they can see and relate to. What we're offering them now is Bass Pro Shop's four and a half inch African Special Crack Crawl. And believe you me, this is a color and bait that they want and the color that's most visible at this time and depth. A better one. What? Oh, yeah. You liked that creature bait, didn't you? Yes, you did. Okay, see ya. Woo, that was exciting. Okay, let me ask you this question. How many times have you taken your wife, uh, your daughter, your son, even a fishing buddy, and they catch four or five fish to your one from the back of the boat using the same identical equipment that you're using, the same type rod, the line, lure, fishing the same depth with the same presentation. Even the same, but with one exception. They're using a medium green lure and you're using a light green lure. Now that's a small difference, just in two shades of green. Surely that couldn't be the reason, could it? Well, let me tell you this, and then you decide. You decide after I tell you this, okay? It's a known fact that fish see color and shades of the same color differently in different water clarities and in different light levels. Some colors are highly visible to fish at one time of the day and in one water clarity and become practically invisible at another time of day or different water clarities. This is Mother Nature's way of protecting some species of forage fish. Although they're often highly visible, they can become camouflaged during parts of the day in some water clarities or during seasonal changes in their own color. If they remained visible to predator fish all the time, they would have been eaten long ago. It's like deer. If they were the color of Tennessee orange, just how long do you suppose they would have survived during hunting season? You know, a lot of fishermen think that fish have actually turned off 
on the color they're using which catching fish. But it may be that the light or the clarity has changed and fish can't see your offer. Bill Dance Outdoors is sponsored in part by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Rebel, catch fish anywhere. And by Mercury Marine, go boldly. Today's Conditions Log is brought to you by the Tennessee Department of Tourist Development. Come experience the kind of beauty that can only be made in Tennessee. Go online today for your free Tennessee vacation guide. Good in there. Whoa. Put the... All right, stop it. All right. I just can't get to you. Oh, that. I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to let you go. Did you see him smile when he heard that? Where's the hook? There it is. Big old fat job. Then that old pea green water. Old split pea soup. Looks like a bowl of. You ain't got your coloration. Okay. Let's go. Back. You ready? Look, he disappeared just about three inches under the water. Let me tell you something else I found very interesting about fish vision. Ichthyologists and biologists both have found through years of research that the fish's eye receives five times more light than humans do. Their eyes gather more light and in effect amplify it, allowing them to see at much lower light levels than we can and at much greater distances. Those in the know say that fish can see over 40 feet in relatively clear water where we in scuba gear can see approximately 10 to 12 feet. Now in stained water, where we can see two to four feet, tests show that a bass can see 14 to 16 feet. But in a muddy water environment, where we can only see six inches or so, fish can still see at three to five feet. up in that cover. Big boy. Oh, Nelly. Woo-wee. That big old honky bump. Yes, sir. Let me just ease back here and see if I can place my thumb in your big fat mouth. Whew. Talk about bigger. 
that one. <laughs> he cut up, didn't he? Woo wee! Yes, she did, old boy. Nice. See you around. Toodaloo. Boy. Today's show was sponsored in part by Quantum Rods and Reels. Mystic Lubricants, Lubrication Domination. And Tracker Boats, Fish the Finest. Today's show was sponsored in part by Stren, the standard of dependability since 1958. Lure Lock, turning the tackle world upside down. And Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. Today's equipment log is brought to you in part by Gamakatsu, because the fish of a lifetime only comes once in a lifetime. One craig, ah, oh, look here. Yeah. Nice little. Fat one. Clonk. What we're using is a Bass Pro Shop Tournament Series Crack Crow. It's four and a half inches long, and the color we're using is the African Special. Now this particular color, it's uh, basically black. It's got some reflective uh, sparkles in it, but it holds its identity extremely well in the water. We got it rigged with a quarter ounce slip sinker and a slip bobber or a sinker stopper in front of it to keep it together. And we're using a 4 alt Gamakatsu EWG hook on it. It's an extremely good bait. It's got a lot of action, a lot of legs, the flappers move a lot. It creates a larger image in the water and that's real important in this off-colored water. This water's got a tremendous bloom on it and it does create some water displacement as you move it through the water. Where are we going? Make up your mind. Going on the trolling. Ooh. Tough. I'm going to jerk that rod out of my hand. I had it on my stomach and it went whoop. Oh. That one. It's a well-known fact that water absorbs some light rays faster than others and therefore changes the appearance of color as far as man or camera can see them. But remember, the fish's eyes are much different than ours. Although researchers don't really know how fish perceive color, they do know which colors are more effectively for catching fish in different light levels and water clarities based on years of research. Since fish's eyes are on both sides of their head, fish do have a wide range of sight. However, the right and left eyes each see a separate half of the field, and they suffer a little from split vision. Nevertheless, it is an advantage to have each eye able to scan an arc of 180 degrees or more on each side of the body. To the fish's rear, there is a blind spot where neither eye can see, 
And this is why you'll always catch more fish by bringing your offering to the fish rather than bringing it up behind him. Oh boy. Oh boy. What are we going to do with you, Bobby? <laughs> You can see this water's got a tremendous bloom on it. And look how far you can see him underwater. He just about disappears. But he can see though, that eye right there receives five times more light than our eyes. You can sure see it, couldn't you? With the wise, pretty, pretty fish. Big and fat, pull the rope. See you, baby. Take care. Woo! The Build, Ask, Question, and Answer of the Week is brought to you by Mystic Lubricants and their complete line of JT4 Marine products. A full line of products for your full line of pursuits. Visit mysticlube.com today. Can you explain the harmful effects of UV light? Well, the unseen ultraviolet rays are what causes sunburn and eye irritation. Even worse, UV can cause premature development of cataracts, retinal degeneration, and skin cancer around the eyes. Quality polarized sunglasses will filter out UV and shield your eyes from ill effects of the sun. Today's show is sponsored in part by Millennium Marine, a new class of comfort. And Motor Guide, trolling motors engineered for anglers. Closed captioning provided by Power Pole, the original shallow water anchor. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series, chart plotter, sonar combos. With advanced sonar technology like Chirp and exclusive Panoptics all-seeing sonar, you'll spend less time finding your fish. Have you ever wished you could bring shade over the top of you on a 100 degree day? Well now, thanks to Millennium Shade Tree, you can. With this neat attachment, you can create and carry shade wherever you want. Attach it to your seat pedestal, slip in your umbrella and you can choose where you want the shade to fall all the time. The shade tree and you'll have it made in the shade. A cool product. Come be a part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. There's one. Oh, another. There he goes. That one right there, isn't it? Pretty, pretty fish. I say that every time. I'm not gonna say, oh, that's an ugly fish. Boy, I caught an ugly fish. Oh, look, you are an ugly fish. You're a pretty fish is what you are. Ready? Doodaloo. Dead ahead, a fish can see your bait at a distance and react to it so much quicker. Also dead ahead, the arcs of the eyes overlap and provide a narrow band, perhaps 45 degrees, where the fish has binocular vision. It is in this band of binocular vision that a fish can expect to have accurate depth perception. In chasing down a fishing lure or living prey, where depth perception is important, fish will attack straight ahead. And this straight on position gives the fish the maximum ability.
to estimate target distance. Without depth perception, a fish has a tough time getting the range of its target and hitting the mark. And if the lure of prey is not too visible, his chances of getting it is virtually nil, regardless of what direction it's moving. Oh yeah. Look good in two. Put the pole down. Coming on around. That is a strong dog on fish right there, boy. Still getting drifted all the way into the bank. That's worth it. Look at that. Yep, there you go, boy. Oh, man. What a day. There's absolutely no way for me to tell you all there is to know about fish vision and color perception. It'd take weeks for me to tell you, and that would take forever. However, if you remember nothing more about fish vision than how fish see your offering before the strike, well, you've gained an edge. Sound and smell may lead it to your bait, but the final attack is dictated by sight in almost every instance. Therefore, if you can get a lure in front of the fish in a natural manner, and is it approximately the correct shape and size and right color, well, you've increased your odds for success tremendously. Thanks so much. Oh, I stuck that hook in my finger. Woo, thanks so much for Thanks so much for tuning in. Ah. And we'll catch you next time right here. <laughs> and if you get time, huh, go by Bass Pro and pick you up some of these crack crawls. They're a mighty fine little bait. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today. Thanks for watching Bill Dance Outdoors. Join us here again next week. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today.